Its radar allows the Mirage 2000 to get close to enemy bases in record time, bomb them and retreat. It's even possible in adverse weather conditions like fog, heavy rain, low clouds or in the middle of the night. The pilots are trained to let their aircraft fly and trust them completely. The Mirage 2000D provides a benchmark for its low-level radar. Yet man is still at the center of all this technology. There's the pilot in front and the weapons systems officer behind. With missions at ground level, a division of labor is needed. One is flying the plane, the other is processing vital information. The person in the back calculates the flight time to the tanker yet must also watch the airspace around. A Mirage 2000 is almost never alone on a mission. Other fighter aircraft from the same squadron may also be in a hurry to refuel, and sometimes several allied countries share the sky. <laughs> 